Hi everyone, it's uh, Simon Keeling here and it's Friday the 25th of November and boy are you looking at a frustrated weatherman this morning. You probably noticed that the sound quality isn't as good as it normally is on these recordings. Um, random happenings here at the weather centre this morning with uh, computer sound failing and goodness knows what else. So hopefully we'll get it sorted over the weekend but I hope you can hear me okay and uh, it's just a quick forecast really to take you through the uh, end of next week into the beginning of the week after next bring you up to date on where things stand just at the moment um, anybody going to the flying show this weekend at the NEC I'll be there I'm giving a talk at one o'clock tomorrow afternoon so that's one to avoid so uh, hope to see you there if you're going along anyway this is the 7 to 10 day mean forecast charts. Left hand side here is ECMWF. Right hand side here is the GFS. ECMWF has got a strong jet stream blasting across the Atlantic because of the above normal heights here in the mid Atlantic, below normal here to the east of the UK. And that results in a west northwesterly flow. Now, that would keep things unsettled across the British Isles, particularly across the south, where you can see the jet stream is stronger there. Um, we'd have cooler conditions, temperatures probably near normal for the time of year, but a snow across the Scottish mountains, but for the rest of us, probably just fairly unsettled, particularly in the south. GFS makes more of it. It makes the ridge bigger towards the east of the states. It builds these heights, which results in this northwesterly flow digging into Iberia. That's where it says low pressure is going to go. It brings a lighter flow through the British Isles, a cold easterly across England and Wales. So it's going for colder conditions for England and Wales on the GFS, and probably some showers, wintry showers at that for northern and western Scotland. Neither one of them particularly wintry, um, but so Certainly both are generally cooler. I kind of favour ECMWF at the moment uh, with bringing in those more unsettled conditions. Um, this is where temperatures are forecast to go. Look for uh, Birmingham for the next few days. This is from the GFS model. And you notice how it's the red that we're looking at, the maximum temperatures. Just look at those. You see how they suddenly come off around the beginning of uh, December so that's towards the back end of next week into next weekend and we'll lose a few degrees off the maximum temperature from 10 uh, kind of into Thursday of next week down to 7s into uh, Saturday and Sunday and even lower than that look as we head in towards uh, the back end of the weekend so certainly making things cooler towards the back end of next week but I think prior to that it looks as if it is going to be a fairly unsettled week ahead temperatures going up and down all over the shop uh, and certainly very windy as it is today for many northern and western areas. Right, I'm going to take a sledgehammer to this sound quality and uh, as always this is kept free of charge by the adverts that you see around the screen. So if you see an advert you like, click on it, it shows the sponsor you like us, it gives us your support and generates revenue to keep the site free of charge. Thanks for watching once again and keep the sun shining.